Hello everyone. So we have started the year 2020 with a bang. This is the Volvo XC40. Yes, a lot of you would be saying, oh, you've already talked about the XC40 before. You've had the white one. What's new with this? Well, that one was an inscription. This one is an R design. That means this has more sporty credentials. But this isn't any ordinary XC40. This is the R design with, wait for it, a petrol engine. Yes, Volvo has finally brought the petrol engines to its cars here in India. This one is the T4. I'm really excited about it. But there's also something special about the way I'm dressed. I'm wearing half sleeves t-shirt in the month of January because we're in Goa. And before I talk to you about this new engine and this new configuration, let me cue the scene. This XC40 T4 R design is powered by a turbocharged four cylinder petrol motor which produces 190 horsepower, which is the industry standard, but it also produces 300 Newton meters of torque, which might sound a little low for a car of this size, but to be very honest, it is ample enough to move this car from 0 to 100 in 8 and some seconds. And I'm pretty impressed. The engine is very quiet indeed. The sound insulation inside the XC40 is commendable. And I've said this before in the verdict of the XC40 D4 diesel that it is the Rolls Royce of mid-size luxury SUVs and I still stand by it. This R design just ups that game. It's got paddle shifters. It's got, it has a perforated steering wheel. There are nicer elements inside the cabin. The seats are so well bolstered. They hug you so well. It literally feels like I'm driving a sports SUV, like a proper high performance one. The back roads of Goa are incredible to drive on and it really truly tells the greatness about any car that you drive here. So the road that connects Panjim to Majorda Beach has got a lot of curves, a lot of elevation changes. So you really feel the change in the way this car behaves. It's suspension setup is very well done. It's a little bit on the stiffer side but nothing that makes it uncomfortable. This is a very, very comfortable car indeed. The seat cushioning, the suspension damping is just impeccable. Again, this feels like the Rolls Royce of mid-size luxury SUVs. And it makes sense to have a car with such a brilliant mechanical setup. The steering, very direct. Although it is a front wheel driven car, the way it goes in any direction that you point this car towards, it's, it's commendable, it's glorious. Volvo has made sure that this car feels sporty. The R design badge really comes up to life. It's just incredible. The brakes. Because this car is run by a petrol motor, it is indeed lighter on the front. The brakes have to do lesser work to stop this machine. They're wonderful, they're crisp. They have a very good bite to them, even at the slightest 
push of the pedal. It's incredible. The gearbox, 8-speed ZF. Great shifts when you put it in manual mode, which you can select from the gear selector itself. It just shifts very sharply. On normal comfort mode, it is nice and lazy and it makes sure that you have smooth shifts and figure out a nice fuel economy in the same time. of the Volvo XC40 are my favorite driving environment it's just so wonderfully crafted the materials on top of the dashboard the cushioning of the seat the fit and finish of each and everything and this beautiful small diameter Volvo R design steering wheel with paddle shifters at the back it's an absolute event this 8.7 inch sensors touchscreen is very very responsive it has the navigation bar on the right place when you're driving so you need the navigation on top the features inside this cabin is an absolute delight this particular unit with all the buttons for your normal media usage and your defogger and the drive mode are taken off from the 90 versions of the car there's a lot of storage space also there's a dustbin right in front of the front armrest quite handy The rear seat situation on the XC90 probably is the best place ever in its segment. It's got good enough of headroom. I'm 5 foot 8 inches tall. There is ample amount of knee room for the seating position adjusted to my height. There is a central armrest with cup holders and the seat back is well raked. It's not uncomfortable. Also, a very thoughtful futuristic feature Volvo has added a type C charging port at the back they're always ahead of their time the X40 is built on Volvo's compact frame platform it does allow this subframe to accommodate more cars in the future but it doesn't make it look any smaller to an SUV. The proportions of the XC40 are very much like a proper SUV. The high bonnet line and a high roof line which is straight up till the rear makes it very SUV-ish. And this is probably the only car in its segment that looks like a proper SUV. One of the greater features of the XC40 is the smart tailgate. All you have to do is have the key fob in your pocket. Just imagine yourself to have your hands full of luggage and all you have to do is kick below the bumper and it opens up. And on the inside, the XC40 is probably the biggest boot in its segment with a lot of smart features. It also has a powered tailgate for added convenience. So let me get this straight, Volvo XC40 is perhaps one of the most striking looking cars under 40 lakh rupees and in this R design version it just ups the portion. The petrol motor however changes things greatly because it is more safer to the environment, it is more comfortable to drive because of the MPH levels of the engine, it is pretty much efficient. I know there are a lot of options under 40 lakh rupees for you, but my money is going here.